So this is a quick uh, video as a response to a text message that I got from somebody today who uh, actually knows my cell phone number. And they were asking me if uh, it's necessary to uh, clear out the bottom entrances in the wintertime if the bottom entrances are blocked with snow and if the bottom entrances should be wide open or reduced in the wintertime. And I don't know what should or sh they should or shouldn't do, but uh, you can see here I don't worry too much about snow blocking the entrances. This this hive is actually half buried in snow or getting buried in snow, and that snow just provides a little bit of ex extra insulation that doesn't bother the bees. Um, you can see here too the entrances of this hive and that hive, and all, most of my hives are are blocked with snow right now, and it's not a problem as long as the um, hives have. Uh, some sort of ventilation in the top. So in this case, this hive has a, 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 a an entrance or an exit, whatever you want to call it, and that provides some ventilation. And you can see here, these are the the ventilation holes of a moisture quilt that provides some extra ventilation. And there are other ventilation aids you can add to a hive in the winter time to help with ventilation. And uh, as long as the hive is well ventilated, that they can be buried in snow all winter long. And in my experience and it's not a problem, um, especially if they have moisture quilts. Moisture quilts will suck away most of the moisture from any, any kind of moisture that happens to, to collect inside the hive, either from the bees' respiration or from honey that's evaporating or just from even snow melting into the hive and collecting into the hive. Moisture quilt will, will solve all that problem, all those problems. But even without a moisture quilt, as long as there is some sort of uh, ventilation, uh, snow around the hive isn't a problem, in my experience. As for the uh, bottom entrance, I keep my entrances wide open, except for some quarter-inch mesh to keep shrews out. And I put the quarter-inch mesh on the top and the bottom entrances to keep shrews out. And um, that wide-open bottom entrance provides, again, some extra ventilation, which doesn't never hurts in the wintertime. Um, I suppose if I had my bees out in a field where they were uh, hit by strong winds all winter long, I might consider reducing the entrances. Uh, and it's, I suppose it's not a big deal as long as there's still, there's still like a, a top entrance for ventilation. That's, that's the main thing. But in, in my case, you can see my hives are well ventilated, not well ventilated, well sheltered, and they don't get much strong winds, so I, I just keep the uh, entrances wide open. But uh, as is the case with all types of beekeeping, you know, all beekeeping is local beekeeping. You do what works best in your particular situation. Though I don't think snow is a problem in in any situation. But uh, the entrances, yeah, you can tweak them, whatever. But uh, in my case, I don't worry about it. So that's it. And I have nine colonies on the go right now. And uh, they're all doing pretty good. There you go. And here's the final three, four. Yeah, that's it.